my dudes welcome back to the videos if you are new here and you are into automotive content please do consider subscribing to my channel and then for you guys that are subscribed to my channel thanks a lot for watching my videos i do appreciate it um, what we do have planned for today is to fit uh, the concept sport and street track garage collab uh, shifter plate this is actually one of one there's none nothing like this if you guys are interested in this product um, uh, there is a link in the description for concept sport if you are interested in this if you guys are also interested in actually having a swung street or a street to track a version like this that can also be arranged you guys can maybe just dm me and then we will make one specifically for you bear in mind if you do get the second one you will be then um the second you will be the second person to actually have one so yeah um this is a very cool product um before we do continue what i do i want to inform you guys is that um as i am sponsored by concept sport because we are one of the first few to actually have this plate we basically have to fit the, this plate and just how can i say um we are basically the guinea pigs so when we do install um this units we obviously um figure out that there is some alterations that need to be done and then we obviously have to give him his feedback um as to how to make this product better bear in mind that this is version one of this product version two will need no alterations so yes it's just going to be a few bends that is going to be needed it's very easy if you guys are interested in a step-by-step -step video you guys should just check um Mr. Late Late's uh, video, he did a very uh, good job on actually explaining how to do this installation. Um, but yeah, going forward, um, as you guys know, I like my products or my parts to be a little bit different. So I do plan on spraying this uh, whole unit black. The reason why I also want to make it black is because there's not really much uh, silver in the car besides the little cage, as well as um, I do have a ek9 type r bwr um shift gear so if you guys can just check this out this is going to look very cool in black i really like it um so yeah it's going to look much better if this whole unit is going to be black however in future i do plan on getting another one of these because my skunk 2 um, rose gold one also kind of looks good with the silver so that will actually look uh, um that will actually look cool so in future i do plan on getting the silver one as well as you guys are aware i like to keep um one of each so that i can just have different looks um so yeah that is what we do have planned for today the reason for me also um taking a little bit long to do this installation is because the collaboration with um, nostalgic uh, there was a few videos that he made interior videos that he made um, and we unfortunately did not manage to finish up the video so we are planning on meeting up in future so i don't want the car to look different uh in the one section of the video and then the other section is different so that is also one of the reasons why i haven't installed mine yet but today we are going to install it um so yeah guys let's get started
my dudes so this is what the shifter plate looks like um, when it's all mounted up um, bear in mind i did mention that the ease alterations that needed to be made the alterations basically means that you need to bend um, these ends over here the reason for that is because of this gap over here but i've now had a look at this um, shifter plate a lot of times and i don't know i think i actually like the gap like it gives it a little bit of more depth um so yeah i think i might might run it just like that bear in mind it's extremely easy for me to just bend this anytime but i think i'm kind of actually feeling um this whole depth over here so i think i might just run mine just like that um so i'm just going to spray it and then we can basically mount it exactly like it is right here if I do change my mind, like, like I mentioned, I can easily just um, alter uh, this ends over here and then it can sit flush. But I actually do really like the way it looks. A few moments later. Okay, my dudes, so I just returned uh, from a little detour. As you guys know, that I'm not your average um, car enthusiast. So I just went the extra mile and actually went to go buy the CV booth. Uh, just to give it a better look so if you're looking from it downwards uh, it basically cleans it up a little bit more then i also just want to give a shout out to yusuf at ahk they were a little full and i was in the alley because i have a supper to go to tonight so he actually went to the extra mile and actually taking me um at the back of the store and letting me go through a few of these cv booths so that i can have uh, one that sits a little bit snug so Shout out to Yusuf, if you guys are looking for anything uh, mechanical, please uh, contact Yusuf at HK. I'll just put these, the link in the description as well. And then also guys, what I did fail to mention that um, the Street to Track Garage collab, this is basically one of one. And if you guys are interested in the Street to Track Garage one, you guys can make contact with me uh, via Instagram, DM me. Bear in mind, if you do buy the uh, the second one then you will obviously be the second one with this which means it will only be two um, so yeah please DM me if you guys are interested um, in the street to track garage one so I'm just going to sand this down and then we can spray it black guys so this is what the shifter plate looks like if you do like what it does look like please do give this video a thumbs up it does really help um, with my videos and then what we also do need to do is we basically need to fit this uh, rub over here 
Um, Tarik does obviously give you uh, an extended part, so you just have to cut this little piece off to actually fit uh, the correct shape over here. And then obviously we just need to fit um, the sound dampening. Okay, so I'm just gonna set you guys up on the tripod and then we can get started. guys so this is what the shifter looks like it's kind of dark so you can't really see it um, I'm still trying to figure out if I like the CV booth in here it does kind of look cool but I didn't know it's gonna stick out that far um, so that is something I might just change in future but I'm going to run it like that for now uh, what I'm also going to do is maybe just make a cinematics or from before and after um, when there's some sunlight as well. The next day. Yo, my dudes, if you're watching this, just like to thank you for making it to the end of my video. It is, however, the next day. Uh, I just thought I would make this video. Uh, today so I can show you guys what it looks like in a day um, Then also before I end of the video just want to say a massive thanks to Tariq at Concept Sport with doing this collab with me I'm actually very happy with this product It came out very well and then also just want to ask you guys that also do have companies mm -hmm. and that are also maybe selling products or creating your own products you guys can please make contact with me. I'd be happy to expose your product on my channel. Maybe do a little bit of unboxing. Maybe even do a collab with you or maybe at your company. Um, even maybe installation as well. Um, I'm always down for that. I'm always down to help um, anyone. So yeah, let me just show you guys what um, the shifter plate looks like. So this is what the shifter plate looks like guys i am happy with the outcome i am actually going to keep this gap over here um, i also put a tie strap over here just to push um, the cv booth a little bit down um, what i do plan on doing different is um, using plastic tip instead of spraying because i did pick up when i actually put this rubber on here i would kind of scratch it or maybe a uh, fingerprint like over there so that is something I'm also going to do different. What I also want to do different is 
I don't know if you guys can see in the inside over there. I actually put the, the black mat underneath the gray mat. So maybe I'm just going to put the black mat over the gray. So it looks a little uh, more dark and you can't really see that. So yeah, that is what I am going to do different um, with the shifter plate. And then if you guys are wondering um, about this fire extinguisher, this is a fully functional um, driver emergency fire extinguisher. Um, I have put up a video uh, in one of my previous videos. I'll just put the link in the description for it as well. So how it kind of works is there's a lever on the outside that gets pulled in case of a collision. Then there's a cable that runs from here into the firewall and then obviously outside. So you basically pull that lever there and the squirts onto the driver. Now ever this has to be uh, removed in order for it to actually work. So yeah guys, um, if you guys do like what we have done to the shifter plate, please do give this video a thumbs up. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.